The spread betting millionaire Stuart Wheeler has been one of the Tory party's biggest donors back in 2001. He gave them more than £5 million. He's continued to give them smaller amounts ever since last year. It was around 50000 But today, he's announced that he's voting UKIP at the next European elections and is stuffing 100000 quid in their Eurosceptic pocket. So, he says he wants to remain a member of the Conservative Party. He's with me now. So how is that possible? Well, there's nothing to stop me being a member of the Conservative Party, and I set aside to turn me out, and giving money to UKIP. It really, really matters what's going on in the European Union, and what I want to do is to get a message over to both the main parties in the European elections that the public knows that. Your, your own uh, uh, poll the other day showed that 55% were in favour of withdrawing from the EU but having um, good business contacts with them. So your message to Conservative voters for the European elections is vote UKIP? It is. And uh, I had dinner with somebody who I thought was a really old-fashioned pro-Conservative last night, and I told him what I was doing. I thought he'd be horrified. He said, no, I'm doing exactly the same. You're absolutely right. And I hope a lot of other people will do the same, and also will give money to UKIP. If you were the chairman of the Conservative Party, wouldn't you say, we've got to kick Stuart Wheeler out? Uh, no, I don't think I would, because... Well, even know, though you are giving money to another party and coming on this programme and saying, I urge Conservative voters to support a rival party... In the vote for the European elections, it's the message that matters. Unfortunately, the only elected part of the European Union is the uh, European Parliament, and that's what these elections are about. It has practically no power at all. So all that matters is the message that's given. Have you spoken to Tory Central Office about this? I, uh, yesterday I rang them before anybody else would know, and I gave a message for David Cameron. Uh, uh, and what was their response? Well, he said he'd pass it on. I didn't get a response, actually. Uh, because yesterday, when we spoke to Tory Central Office, they said, well, you know, this is not an issue. Uh, today, they're saying, actually, we need to take a view on this. So I think that uh, maybe support for you is dwindling in the Conservative Party. Yes. Well, that would be very sad for me, but it's so important. I think it's very important the Conservatives win the next election, but even more important is getting the European Union right. I'm afraid I put that above getting the Conservatives in. Um, uh, what have the Tories done wrong? Because they said they're committed to a referendum on the Lisbon Treaty. Um, what more could you ask them to do that they've well, already they, they said On the 26th of September 2007, David Cameron gave what he called a cast-iron guarantee about that. He's never repeated it. And what we need is not merely a commitment in absolutely no rigor room terms that they will have such a referendum if Lisbon is not law when they get into power. That's one thing. But it's quite likely that Lisbon will be law when they get into power. And I want them to give a commitment that they'll have a, a referendum even then. Not on whether to... Uh, take our ratification back, it'd be too late for that, but whether the British people accept it, and, and if they don't, then Cameron will have a mandate for a big renegotiation. I mean, you've made your fortune in spread betting. What if one of your employees suddenly turns up to work and goes on the airwaves publicly to say, actually, don't bet with our company, bet with another company? Well, that's completely different. You're talking about one of my employees. I'm not a, an employee of the Conservative Party. I have no loyalty other than to this country. Right. What do you say then to the other charge that this is about vanity on the part of Stuart Wheeler? Uh, Conservative blogger Ian Dale described you today as a menace. He needs a regular fix of publicity. Wheeler is a walking advertisement for the benefit of state funding of political parties to which I am opposed. Well, I'm opposed to it as well. But whether it's a vanity or not, you better ask my daughters. They're rather inclined to agree with them about that. But actually, I mind like hell. So you are a bit vain about it. I think anyone who enjoys coming on a show with you, you're probably a bit vain about being on the show yourself. But I mind about this issue. It's really important to the people of this country, and I hope they're going to give the Conservatives and Labour the message which is very, very important. And if the Tories kick you out, you shrug your shoulders? I don't shrug my shoulders. I'll be sorry. But you won't alter my stance at all. Right. And do you believe, though, that this sort of act action actually impacts people the way they're going to vote? Well, I hope so, because the more they understand that it's affecting their pockets, it's affecting their jobs, it's affecting everything, um, and really matters. It's not just a sideshow. The amount that it's costing this country is comparable to the amount we're going to have to borrow next year, which everyone's horrified about. It really matters. Okay, so we must leave it there. Thank you very much indeed uh, for being with us. We did ask the Conservative Party itself to speak to us on the programme about this. No one was available.